What's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna show you a typical corporate portrait shoot. How I usually get these type of jobs, what gear I use and how I set it up. So the most common way for me to get these kind of jobs is that someone is googling for a photographer in my area. And uh, since I've been working with SEO for the last 12 to 15 years, my website is pretty easy to find if you're Googling in my area. And of course in Swedish. And the first point of contact is usually a message through my website or an email or a phone call. Or it could be a returning customer, which I have worked with in the past. But if it's a new customer, they usually describe shortly what kind of photos they need and they ask me for a quotation. And sometimes a simple email is enough, but uh, on bigger jobs, on bigger companies, they, they often need a, a written quotation as a PDF with full terms and terms of usage and stuff like that. So in those cases, I put all this stuff in a PDF and send it to them. And if they decide to hire me, we agree on a date for the shoot and more details on how we're going to do it. I usually ask about the location and tell them what I need in terms of space and so on. And another good thing is to ask the client for is if they have seen similar photos elsewhere, which is kind of the look that they want. And if I can see those kind of photos before the shoot, I know what they're expecting and uh, it makes my job a lot easier. The most common thing for corporate portraits is that we shoot on location at the client's office. Uh, most offices have some kind of conference room or a common area that can be used for the photo shoot. And sometimes, of course, we shoot in the studio as well. So I'm going to show you a short clip of the setup for a recent shoot that I did. This may not be the most typical setup when it comes to the background, uh, but this blue background was specific demand from the client since it was part of the corporate guidelines for this specific company. Okay. So here's the setup, 7200, Canon 5D Mark IV, 8200 shoot through umbrella, 8200 with a octabox and a grid, blue background, and now I want to figure out the way to position this guy, 8200 here also, for a spot. That's my setup for today's portrait shoot. I ended up using this low chair and the pillow to position the flash on the background because the tripods I had were a bit too high. So here we have a time lapse from this shoot where I instruct the model how to stand in what angle I want her shoulders and her face and so on. I usually take four or five shots and then I let the model see the images on my iPad to where I transfer the images wirelessly. And this is usually very appreciated when you do shoots like this, that the person you shoot can see the images right away, because that way they can change details in their hair, their clothes and so on, which they may not be happy with. And then we usually take a few more shots so they can pick the one they like the best. These are some of the final images where I had done some adjustments in Photoshop and the ideal setup here would have been to have more space between the background and the spotlight and the model because the background was a bit too bright to match the example image I had received before the shoot. But I was able to fix that in post, so no big deal really. Uh, and this is the final result according to the client's uh, specifications. So that's it, a pretty simple corporate portrait shoot. I have recently switched all my lighting equipment to Godox since I think they make very good quality gear for what you are paying for it. And earlier I have mixed different brands of equipment as well, so I thought it was time to, uh, to switch it up and uh, to have everything in the same ecosystem, so to speak. I hope you found this video useful and interesting. If you did, you are more than welcome to click that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah, those can we see them. What's up, YouTube? Today I'm gonna show you a typical corporate line how I use use, <clears throat> and sometimes we shoot in the studio. <laughs>